Here at UPMC, we find that it's very important that our clinical approach be based on evidence and empirical data. And as a result, our research program plays a critical role in driving what we do in practice. And we think that's very important. Everything from risk factors to the treatments that we use can be improved through research. We think it's important to understand what an athlete or an individual brings to the table with regard to risk factors such as age, uh, their sex, concussion history, and migraine history because that can play a great role in what type of injury they have, how it manifests, and how we can best treat that. We think it's also important to understand what happened when they, when they were injured. For example, if they experienced dizziness at the time of their injury, we know that that can drive a longer recovery process. And it may also help us to determine which treatments could be used earlier or which specific treatments might help to mitigate uh, the recovery and, and really maybe speed their recovery up or lessen their impairments. Uh, most importantly, though, we think it's critically uh, important to the patient to have good evidence behind what we do from a treatment perspective. Uh, we want to make sure that our treatments are targeted because we know this injury is heterogeneous. Uh, it's not a one-size-fits-all, uh, and our approach here uh, is driven by the notion that each injury is individual, but within that framework, we also want to have empirical evidence to drive what we're doing. So if there's a vestibular impairment, we want to make sure we're using vestibular therapies that are evidence-based and that will have an outcome that will reduce recovery time and uh, increase symptom reduction, et cetera. Uh, and we think that research plays a great role in that.